Hey guys, welcome back to Tower of God New World. In today's video, we have Vespa's skills. They've just put out like the social posts, the YouTube and stuff like that. Now we don't have multipliers, but we can get a good basic look at the way this character is going to function. I'll, I'll leave my thoughts till the end. We'll go through the skills, we'll take a look at it, and then I'll talk you guys through my thoughts and what I'm personally going to do around this character. So Vespa, Scout Yellow, let's go. All right, so... First of all, this is going to be the passive auto. Uh, okay, the okay, the auto attack is just the auto attack. The passive skill, Honeypot. Vespa's defense increases for each yellow element teammate other than herself. In addition, if Vespa receives can uh, constant damage, which I believe that's like a damage over time, unless I'm getting terms wrong in this game but constant damage to me is a dot a burn a bleed a poison anything like that um then as soon as you get that it will be removed immediately and restore hp now the thing we got to see is does it have an internal cooldown and how much hp does it restore if vespa's hp drops to a certain number of hp heals her hp and provides constant damage debuff immunity to nearby allies so this one once again i i think this is one of those ones i really need to see the full in-game description of it to see how it functions because hp drops to a certain number heals hp does this have a cheat death type function because often you get one tapped in campaign i i consider this character not to be a carry character so if it's not a carry i want it to have usefulness at low copies at like one copy um i don't like when we look at these type of characters kind of like tanks in the game at the moment they don't really get a consideration because maybe they are good when you get them max duped and fully invested but 99% of players who or free to play at least won't be investing into tanks and those types of units yet because you're still trying to build your main carries and you need three of them eventually so uh, there's no point going so deep on a uh, on a tanky type unit so we'll have to see if it's got a cheat death type functionality then that could be not too bad but then it says it heals hp and provides constant damage debuff immunity to me that's once again burn bleed poison type stuff immunity to nearby allies which I, I i just feel like that's so niche unless they bring something in where it's like okay that's like the main source of damage you need to get immune to that it doesn't sound great if that was just like damage immunity like give, give me invincibility off of it or something that would be sick but at the moment it looks like a you know a skill that's maybe decent on a maxed out character but nothing crazy from from this stage so let's jump into the next one and take a look so this is the first active skill uh weak point strike vespa strikes the enemy's weak point to deal damage then a little bees attack the target twice the target's blood flow is interrupted becoming paralyzed after every certain number of attacks from vespa or her bees this will very heavily depend on attack rate of them how quickly vespa herself attacks and how quickly the bees attack like if you're getting like five attacks per second and five stacks is paralyzing them i mean that's not too bad but this one's really going to come down to it uh but bit of a control ability paralyzed to me is like a stun i don't know how long that paralyzed effect lasts for either uh so we'll have to see that so this one has a lot of questions on whether it's going to be good um but nonetheless it does look like a decent ability provided its requirements to activate it aren't too crazy so we'll have to wait and see on that one as well then we'll jump into the next one okay active skill 2 bee swarm vespers little bees cling to the enemy to deal constant damage if the target is paralyzed the attack will always result in a crit so this one for me is like, we, we're sort of like trying to make this a jack of all trades character. We've got the passive, which is more of a tanking passive. We've got the other ability, which is more of like a supportive control ability. And then this is more like a DPS ability where you're trying to get those guaranteed crits. So I, I it, it sort of leaves me in this place of like, it's sort of like an all rounder type character, which these type all rounder characters that try and tank damage and everything. I don't think it's going to be a great carry um, unless we look at this, like we get the character's abilities in game and it's like these multipliers are through the roof and we go, wow, this can be a real carry. Unless there is carry damage capabilities in this character and we've obviously got to see the exclusive equipment as well, then I don't think this kit is really making much sense until possibly having a use in the end game. So let's go into the next one as well. 
And this one's going to be the ultimate, the special skill, Deadly Sting. Vespa locks the enemy, then uses Deadly Sting to deal damage to the poison, uh, damage and poison the enemy. The poison target takes consist, uh, constant, I always say consistent, constant damage and receives an additional debuff based on the poison duration. Now, I don't think that means that the duration that the poison exists for is RNG. I'd say that means like after five seconds, you get one effect. After 10 seconds, you get another effect. Or after two seconds, you get one effect. After five seconds, you know, something like that. So you will get changing debuffs based on how long the enemy has had this deadly sting poison on them. That's the way I understand it. We'll have to see. Maybe this could be a good bossing unit. Maybe that applies defense break and you can keep it up like, you know, really high uptime. And it's a really beefy defense break. I mean, I think maxed out on the assassin, the yellow assassin, it's like an 80% defense break. So that could be an avenue that maybe gets some viability. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. The poison effect and additional debuff cannot be removed, so it can't be cleansed, which is always nice, depending on what the debuffs are. And Vesta become, Vespa becomes immune to status effects while using this skill. So a lot of characters have that type of effect. So going back through it, we have... We have the passive, which is more defensive based. You get extra defense, you get some self healing, you get some uh, immunity to dot effects. Then we've got a paralysis type ability. Then we've got the guaranteed crits when the enemy is paralyzed on a dot. And then we've got this one, which is a poison, which is another dot. And then also we're getting um some additional debuffs that we'll have to wait and see so it, it's like a pretty decent all-round kit i feel like this character once again i i, I my my feel is not going to be very useful until end game because a lot of people will only have one copy i just want to go through and check the um check the abilities again so that's a melee ability basic attack auto attacks a melee that one's a melee as well and that's a melee as well yeah, everything's melee. So if it was a ranged damage, like a ranged unit, then there could be more viability because you would be able to get that ult off. You would be able to get those, uh, you know, those damage over time effects. Uh, you would be able to get those paralysis and keep the character alive. But because it's a melee unit, I, I just think... I, I I really do think that this is a character where unless we see crazy multipliers, uh, no one's really going to need to pull for. Like you just leave that one off. And then when we get to the end game, if it turns out to be at maxed out, you get a decent tank out of it. That's also, you know, a bit of utility, then go ahead. But at the moment, uh, my thoughts, like I said, I'll update you guys if we, if there's any big changes that I notice when we see the play in the game. But at the moment, I'm thinking I'm just going to skip this one. I'll do the 3000 diamond thing to get the free copy or we'll get the one copy and then get the 10 summons from the, the missions. And that's probably where I'll leave it with Vespa. I just feel like we, we uh, I, I kind of want to wait for another carry. I've got my Ihua, I've got my Huari in, and I'm pretty happy with those two, but I really want another like really strong carry to come into the game. So I'm kind of waiting for that. I think I'm up to like over a hundred summons saved. So I think at this point, I'm just going to keep saving and uh, hopefully we get something crazy that I can pull for next time. But yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll test this one in the uh, arena trials to see if we can get some use out of it at maxed out, but just for future reference, because let's face it, most players aren't there. Anyway, guys that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think let me know what you think of the kit um uh, it's a skip for me anyway <laughs> let me know if you're gonna summon as always thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers